Welcome to our fifth and final episode of this year series of Casting Bookworms, featuring Luke LaMontanero, Mason Reed, Aurora Simmons, Reese Agnew, and Regan Skillings. We are a bunch of kids who like books and want to talk about them. Today we are discussing a controversial topic, summer reading. I know, I know, you're probably groaning right now, but hear us out, because we are discussing the Witherly's Library Summer Reading Program, which is better than some others, and we'll talk about why it's better later. Come join us to sit and talk about summer reading. So when you think of summer reading, I bet you think of annoying teachers asking you a lot of questions. But when I think of summer reading, I think of curling up on my couch, reading my favorite graphic novel, Sheets. It's about this ghost in a laundromat that haunts the place by accident. He's just playing around, but seeing a floating sheet with your pillows and the cushions on your sofa can be a little nerve wracking. It also has a girl going through a rough time in school. It meets this nice ghost playing around at her house, but not haunting it. I love the book and would definitely recommend it to kids from the age 10 and up. So like I said before, take a breath, sit down, and read a book. Check off a little box because that's what we are asking you to do for this summer reading program. Here's Luke with more information. Summer reading is like your favorite meal. If it's done right, it's the greatest thing ever. If not, ugh. Comprehension questions? Vocabulary words? A book you don't like? We don't have that at our summer reading program. You read, do other fun activities, and earn prizes. That's when, it done, when it's done right. So, many people do not like summer reading, and for most people, they have great reasons not to like it. Why not to like it? You may not like a book, and you may not want to spend a lot of your time free from school reading a book you don't like when you could be swimming and playing. I mean, can do for vocab anytime, but if you got to pick the book you wanted to read, you are not required to answer any questions, and you got rewards from reading when you do it. It would save a lot of coughing up hairballs when you see the book you have to read. I know I would definitely go for the prizes and good books instead of the hairball option. Just think, it's the last day of school. You have no more schoolwork and you're looking forward to spending the whole summer playing with Shronky in the woods. Just like that, your teacher slams you with 300 vocabulary words for a book you don't even want to read. However, at our library, all you have to do is read a book, no vocabulary words needed. And you can earn prizes just for reading. Here's Mr. Rado to tell you more about it. Thanks, guys. This year's summer reading at the Witherly Memorial Library is online, so you can find out the information there. Go to the library's website, click on the Explore tab, and then you will see at the bottom of that summer reading. At that site, you'll see tons of new suggested books for you to read, and I'm asking you to read 20 days during the summer, all at once or not. And after you've done that, you're going to be, you check off a box. There are many events that we're featuring over the summer. There's a survival course. There's um, the Chewankee Tide Pool animals coming. There are graphic novel um, writing workshops, all fantasy workshops for writing also. So check out the events section on the summer reading website as well. So I hope you join us this summer and enjoy reading. Read in your favorite place. And like Aurora said, it's just checking off a box. If you don't want to do it online, we have a paper option as well. Come in and talk to me if you're not sure what to read. Have a wonderful summer reading. Thank you for listening with us for this year's season. We're doing this again next fall, so stay tuned. Comment on your opinions on summer reading. You can join our summer reading program on the library website. Thank you.